sniveling dogs. These people are fucking scum. They're cheating little sniveling fucking scum, and it's mainstream history. Mainstream history. Okay, the government of America is corrupt because Masons run the government. You think it's fucking reptilians that run it? You think it's honest folk that, you know, without cheating or doing dis disreputable, uh, indecorous activities, made their way to the top? Fucking bullshit. These indignant, hollow head, fucking knave dogs. Did every low and underhanded, devious tactic known to man, with all their chicanery and mischief and disgusting trickery and deceit, they made their way up the ladder of cheaters. That's what, really what the social ladder is, a ladder of cheating scum. And then they, they think they're cool for it, you know. I know very well because I've seen it in the streets, you know. When you look at it, right, let me, let me first put it to you in a way you understand. The people in charge include pedophiles, they include thieves, white collar criminals, you know, rapists, murderers, you know, they're, they're, there's a certain serial killer kind of sadistic mass murdering attribute to some of them, right, narcissists. Now these are all the types of, and control freaks and, and more, these are all the types of people who relate to criminals especially their type of criminal in a very disgusting way this kind of sick complex filled pleasure they have oh you like to do this too oh, ha, ha, ha. you like to do this to the little girl oh, ha, ha, ha. so do i and then they go into detail about it you know they've and this is not something i'm making up on record they've been caught in internet chat rooms and forums busted fucking hundreds of pedophiles busted you know on record and then fucking gets thrown out in court because some politicians are doing it too or something. You know, on record, this is how it is. A bunch of sniveling scum. Serial killers who get locked up in, in, on death row together or whatever, you know, talking about it. You know, this one guy, I saw the serial killer documentary. He was competing with another serial killer. Or he wasn't really competing. He was arguing with him or something about who killed more people. And these are the sniveling... Greasy fucking troll ass motherfucking scoundrels, you know, just low down scum. That's what secret societies are, man. Some of them might be cool. A lot of their women are attractive. Hell, a lot of gangster bitches are attractive. You see these fucking rap videos on TV? Those are all whores. Those are all sluts that I thank God aren't my sister or mother. Those are whores shaking their booty for some fucking kid to jack off to in a rap video. Those are whores, just like a bitch in a TV show or something. Like a Hollywood slut getting her tits sucked on TV. You know, it's like a bitch getting groped and fucking kissed by a strange man in a movie. They're, those are whores. There are strippers that do less than that, and they're whores as well. Make no mistake, if what you're doing is worse than a stripper, you're a fucking whore. How could that not be that you're a fucking slut? Come on. I don't, oh, it's in the name of movies. Oh, it's for God and country. You're a fucking whore. You're just whoring yourself, you know, in the name of the theater. You're just whoring yourself for God and country. You're still a whore. The fuck you think it is? You're whoring yourself to your boss for your career. You're still a whore. Does it matter what kind of payment it is? Oh, you're only a whore if you get paid in cash. If it's a credit card, it's not the same thing. If you're paid in fucking, you know... I don't know, pesos, you know, it's not the same thing. Fucking nonsense. As long as you're getting paid in some form or fashion, you're a fucking whore. As long as you're doing it for some kind of benefit other than love and, and romance, you know, other than sexual pleasure, you're a fucking whore. And even if you are doing it for sexual pleasure, if there's other things involved, such as, you know, for the theater or for money, you're a fucking whore. I mean, what the fuck do you think? You're a fucking whore. Fucking scum. The shit pissing me off too. It's <sighs> gonna part two. So there are Catholic secret societies, 
pagan, Satanist, scientific secret societies. And there are also, you know, Masonic affiliated Theosophical and New Age and Golden Dawn, and there's a lot of secret societies. And they determine mainstream culture. Listen very carefully. This is mainstream history. What I mean is, this is accepted by scholars as the case. There's a consensus in the scholarly community that secret societies disproportionately and historically influence politics. And they have a relationship with rich people, you know, the elite, the governing class. This is how it is. A bunch of secret societies, scientists and rich people, sought to separate church from state, going against another bunch of secret societies, you know, private clubs and rich people. This is how it is. And perhaps it was even always controlled on both sides. But one thing is for sure, that when the Illuminati stepped in, it was absolutely controlled on both sides. They infiltrated everything. That much is certain. So when you look at Seattle with the coffee houses, right? You look at the Masonic lodges. There's over two million Masons to this day. There are coffee houses and poetries, you know, jams at coffee houses, right? And you had, the, I believe, it was the Regis poem that um, I could be wrong about the name, but there was some poem where. You know, it's one of the places where the origin of Masons is associated with, the origin of Freemasonry. So this is mainstream history, man. You know, liberalism on record is controlled by Masons, liberal arts, poetry, you know, art, artwork in general. I mean, this is all, it's all, this is how it is, Okay. There's no ifs or buts about it. There's no, oh, it's crazy conspiracy theory. No. This is mainstream history. I don't think there's a single person that would rebuff or attempt to argue with the people who put it in Wikipedia that this is how the Age of Enlightenment went. It's like, well, duh. You know, the Jacobins. You know, the Illuminism masonry it's just mainstream history to try to argue that they have no effect on society is just as bad as trying to argue that they don't exist or that they never existed that conspiracy theorists made up these secret societies i mean it's like you have to truly accept that if you don't like politicians and you don't like the direction of the country that you must be angry at secret societies as well. If you don't like the hypocrisy in politics, then you must recognize there is hypocrisy in secret societies as well. You must. You must accept this. And you must accept that if you're a politician, chances are you're not a real Christian. There's probably not a single famous, powerful politician who's a real Christian, staying true to Christian values. Probably never has been. It's the same thing with secret societies. Okay? These people intend to screw us all over. And instead of doing the honest thing and building a spaceship, since they're the scientists anyway, flying to fucking the moon and making, you know, building a space station or something and leaving us alone, you know, inhabiting another planet, you know, instead of that being their long term goal, their long term goal is to, you know, build underground bases and fucking housing and to destroy the world and suck it dry and to do it just slow enough so that they have time to come up with a disaster recovery plan and, you know, contingency plan and a survivalist kind of plan. It's absolute sickness. They want their Adam and Eve operations, you know, Operation Noah's Ark. A lot of you never heard of that. 
okay? It's the elite planning to repopulate the earth. Now, there's not necessarily going to be a great flood, but there's going to be a great disaster. You know, just look it up. The elite plan to repopulate the earth. And they're really interested in reproduction. You know, it's a very interesting plan. Uh, and it has to do with desensitization. You know, incrementally killing millions of people. And then they're, every year they raise the stakes. You know, I think it was Kissinger who said depopulation of the third world should be America's highest priority when it comes to foreign policy or something like this. You know, and what do you think are the deeper implications that people from underdeveloped nations are coming here so it's not like well if you come here we'll leave you alone but if you stay there we're gonna depopulate you so anyway um we have been betrayed and the best thing that could happen really with my martial arts success is that several generations of people are aware of why you know I wasn't able to overthrow these people the, the cowardice of uh, America and so on and how America is so uh, wasteful and treacherous that they didn't give me my rightful place you know which would have made it so that a martial arts legend from America that probably no one in the world could be you know didn't leave his mark on the world uh, and I'm not the only talent being wasted here. This is a, a problem that's been going on for a long time. You know, there's a lot of people talented in different areas who are cheated out of their rightful place. And as a result, the reputation of America suffers. You know, we're, we're, we're far behind in our schooling. You know, there's a, a lot of other countries have a lot more educated populations than we do. Um, even though we spend all this money, it all goes back to treachery cheating and, and things going on behind the scenes it's more it's more deep than you know donald trump says he says well i'm going to find a way to address this problem the problem really is cheating i'm not just talking about cheating on tests but it's like sabotage and there's so many elements to it you know and right now my eyes are really hurting really hurting bad and um i couldn't help but notice on the list of the mk ultra substances they were looking for a substance that caused, you know, trouble to the eyesight. And when these people are doing, man, absolutely makes you want to kill somebody. It's like everything on the list is what's happening to me. You know? And they, they want me to go see optometrists and all these doctors so they can record because, you know, they violate HIPAA or whatever it is. They, they look at my medical record, you know, patient confidentiality. They violate that. So they want me to report the exact symptoms to a doctor so they can say, this works, this works, this is doing this, you know. And fuck that shit. You know what I mean? Fuck that shit. Fuck these pussies. What they're going to, you know, the only thing that they're going to truly learn from my case is when you fuck with someone like me, people fucking 